Hey, what is up, guys? Shazad here, and this is the episode two of Top Five Exposed Modules. If you didn't watch the episode one, you can click the annotations on screen right now, or click from the link in the description. First of all, if you don't know how to install Expose Installer and just don't know what it is, I'll prefer you to go to the XTA page and read all the instruction before your attempt. And if you want to download any of the modules shown here, just go into the Exposed app, search the name, download and reboot your device. So we are all set for the number 5. At number 5 we have Instagram Downloader. It's a pretty simple module, does what it says. So if you are on Instagram, you like a pic and you want to save it for offline view, you can easily do it with this module. Whenever you click the three dot button under every picture, it'll give you an option to download that picture into your storage for offline view. At number four, we have screen off animation. This module allows you to change your screen off and on animation without reboot. For screen off, you have a lots of animations like fade, CRD effect, and LG Optimus, and random, which will change the screen off animation with every screen off. And the same goes for the screen on animation as well. And you can set the different speed as well. Do check it out for yourself. It is called screen off animation. On number 3 is knock code. This module kinda simulates what we have seen in the LG's new flagships. But this doesn't yet work while your screen is off. But it does gives you a good security. Setting it up is very simple. Just open the knock code app, click change code and enter the code that you wanna set. Now go into your settings and select pattern as your lock screen method and set any pattern. It is just to let your phone know that you are using a security code on your phone. Now every time you unlock your phone, you will be treated with knock code. To turn it off, just go into your lock screen setting and confirm your pattern and select swipe as your lock screen method. On number 2, we have tinted status bar. This module changes the color of your status bar according to a respective app. For example, if I go into the S planner, it will change the color of the status bar to brown to suit the overall theme of the app. And it does looks really awesome. This works with ton of different apps. Swipe back takes the number one place in this list. If you have a big phone and can't reach the bottom of your phone to press the back or home button, this module will come in really handy for you. For example, if you want to go back from your setting, you can swipe from the left edge of the display and it will take you back. This module works flawlessly. In the setting, you can customize the swipe for each and every app and change the sensitivity and do other stuff. And that's pretty much concludes the top 5 exposed module episode 2. Check out the episode 1 from the link in the description. And make sure you do a backup of your ROM before doing anything. Like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe for more content like this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.